All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it's time to talk about Microsoft's CEO. Now, this is a very interesting story that a lot of people aren't currently talking about right now because it's it's the other part of the conversation that we talk about when it comes to the AAA gaming industry and all the decisions that are happening over in that industry right now. It's insane what's been going on, obviously, with the DEI nonsense, ESG nonsense, and the overall just absolute lack of competency that's happening in the industry. The games, aside from all the wokeness, are just absolute trash for the most part they have a lot of bugs they release day one completely and utterly disrespectful to people who are purchasing their product on day one it's a million things wrong with the gaming industry right now and there's a bunch of things that are right as well but this one right here goes into the corporate greed aspect so we got apparently microsoft ceo satya nadella gets a 30 million dollar pay raise in a year of massive gaming layoffs and that's after he took a voluntary pay cut I said, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, every time I talk about layoffs, one of the things I always talk about is the fact that all these put all these people pushing activism on the ground level, right? Because obviously these CEOs, they advocate for it, right? Because it's not going to affect them. They don't care. They're going to get their millions no matter what. CEOs, executives, they don't give a shit. But the people on the ground level are convinced that these CEOs actually care about their social cause. These CEOs actually care about their movement and the fact that they're non-binary and all this stuff. They don't give up crap at the end of the day if that tanks the game or if that affects the game or if that affects the perception of a game where it makes it sell less and that means you're fired guess what they're not fired they're gonna get money and now all the people that got fired in microsoft this year now has to look and see the ceo get a 30 million dollar pay raise while you stand on the unemployment line talking about how important your social cause is so let's get into this article from ign but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm now this one was written by waldo and it says the ceo of microsoft uh, is getting a pay raise, a $30 million one, according to proxy filing published earlier this week and spotted by NBC. Nadella's compensation for the fiscal year of 2024 totaled to $79 million. God damn, $79 million. $2.5 million of this was his base salary. $71.24 million was stock awards. $5.2 million was a non-equity incentive plan compensation. And the rest was a mixture of other types of compensation. I mean, that's absolutely insane to have a base salary of $2.5 million, but your total payout was $79 million at the end of the year. Uh, that's insane. <laughs> like Clearly, uh, you know what? At the end of the day, it's really not, though, when you think about it. It's a sales position, really, when you really, really think about it. You know, he has to make sure the company is maximum profitability in every aspect whatsoever. So most of it seems to be sales metrics that, you know, will, will give him, you know, if the stock goes up or whatever like that, that that makes sense. But still, it's insane to see the disparity between a base salary of 2.5 and a total payout of $79 million. Uh, this is significantly higher than last year when Nadella's compensation totaled $48.5 million. While Nadella's base salary made flat between years, he saw a massive jump in the past fiscal year in stock awards, going from $39.24 million to $71.24 million this year. Per the filing, the ratio of total annual compensation of Nadella to the median employee at Microsoft was 408 to 1. Now, again, People like Rebecca Valentine, a.k.a. Waldo, what they like to do is they like to say, oh, well, you know, uh, CEO's bad, you know, CEO's evil, executive's evil, et cetera, et cetera. And then what they try to do is they try to paint the pay salary from the CEO against some of the most lowest level paid employees. And they're like, look, it's a 408 to one ratio. And I understand how that might upset you. But at the end of the day, the base employee didn't do half of the work necessary to even be considered for a CEO position over at Microsoft. Maybe they should be focused on moving up and improving themselves instead of complaining about the ceo and what the ceo makes at the end of the day man there's only one ceo position only one person can fill that role but meanwhile there's thousands upon thousands of bottom level employee positions there's a reason for that right that's the manpower that's the force behind it the ceo is the head of the company for the most part so at the end of the day man it, this is just goes back to the conversation that i'm trying to make about corporate greed right there is no doubt about it and i've said this so many times Maybe instead of paying your CEO $80 million, maybe you could have paid him $60 million and then decide to keep 
another 10,000 employees or something like that for the year. Maybe you could have done that. Maybe you could have kept your labor force strong while not having to pay your CEO maximum output. But the thing is, these CEOs have contracts. That means they have to be paid maximum output. And the company knows that. So in order to fulfill their contract, the people at the bottom get the stick. And that's what's happening. So they get fired and the CEO gets its maximum pay. This is what's affecting the gaming industry also as well. And it's a big discussion that needs to be had. I'm not saying CEOs can't get paid millions because, in my opinion, they should, especially if they're doing a good job. Not that I think this person is because I don't. But still, they they this is CEO. CEOs get paid millions. Get over it, right? Like People need to get over the fact that they're not CEOs and they're not getting paid millions. But what I will say is that if you're thinking about the company first and if you're truly trying to look after the company, I don't think taking a $10 million pay cut on a $79 million payout is going to affect the CEO as much much as it would affect the company to save another five to 10,000 jobs. You know, I, I just think that that is more important than paying the CEO another $10 million. But of course, there's going to be people out there that will disagree. There's going to be people out there that will agree, and that's okay. Then it says, notably, the filing points out this uh, out that this number actually incorporates Nadella's taking a pay cut. The cash incentive portion of his pay was reduced at Nadella's own request due to security breach in 2023, where a Chinese espionage group uh, hacked government email accounts through Microsoft. Per the filing, without this reduction, Nadella's non-equity incentive plan compensation would have totaled 10 million instead of 5.2 million. So this man, this man took a five million dollar pay cut, and he still made eighty million dollars in a year. Insane, man. Since the board of directors appointed Mr. Nadella as the third chief executive officer in its history in 2014, Microsoft has nearly tripled revenue to $245 billion, nearly quadrupled net income to $88.1 billion, and more than quadrupled uh, diluted earnings per share to $11.80. The filing reads, in addition to another year of consistently strong financial performance, Mr. Nadella and his leadership team have positioned Microsoft to continue to drive performance for years to come. So again, it's a sales performance job, right? And that's pretty much expected. The man, since he's taken over, has tripled the revenue to $245 billion. You can't ignore that, right? You can't pretend like that's not a big thing. And he's going to get paid for it, right? $80 million is nothing compared to $245 billion, right? But I still believe that at the end of the day, if you are firing people, if you are laying people off, and you're trying to say it's because of struggling times, right? Even though you just admitted you tripled your revenue, you're trying to say that there's issues in the gaming industry, lack of interest, whatever. If that's the case, you could have kept those jobs if you just would have cut a little bit of money from him, a little bit of money from other executives, even a little bit of money from maybe other higher level employees, managers, whatever. You could have cut at least a couple of bucks and saved five to 10,000 jobs. But at the end of the day, the truth is those five to 10,000 jobs that they cut weren't really necessary to begin with. They were bloat that they were getting rid of, most of them anyway. Most of them were probably activists that they got rid of, but still, it was bloat they were getting rid of anyway. So for them, they rather pay their executives they don't consider to be bloat and get rid of the lower level employees that they do consider to be bloat. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.